a comfortable position. By now you know what you like. But if it ever changes, you can always choose to lie down. Just ignore the dog barking and take a few moments to take some relaxing breaths. We'll start doing a little body scan. So let's start at your feet once again. And just go ahead and, as you're breathing, go ahead and wiggle your feet around, move your ankles around. Go ahead and inhale, and then as you exhale, bring stillness to your feet and your ankles. And then inhale that relaxation back up your lower part of your legs. Maybe give your lower body a little stretch, a little bit of movement as you breathe in. And then as you exhale, bring stillness to your lower body. Go ahead and once again, as you breathe in, inhale and move your spine around as you move into your torso with this breathing and relaxation. Go ahead and Breathe in very, very deeply and feel your belly expand and your chest rise up. And then feel it all relax as you exhale slowly, more slowly than you inhaled. And bring your body to stillness. Now move your neck around or move your head around on your neck. Rotate it however feels good for you. Make this your own experience. Breathe in again one more time, and then as you exhale, bring your neck to stillness. One more focused inhale, and then as you exhale, feel your mind settle. And now I want you to pick a stimulus of your choice. Maybe you choose to follow your breath. Your breath is always accompanying you on these meditations. Feel yourself expand as you breathe in. Feel yourself relax as you breathe out. Maybe you pick a sound in your environment to listen to. First notice if there's a few sounds and then pick one to focus on and notice the subtleties of this sound. You may notice its pitch or its frequency. You might also choose to concentrate on sensations in your body. The pressure where your body meets the surface that's supporting you temperature of the air in your room or alternately you might be gazing softly at an object maybe a crystal or a tree in your yard as you meditate outside in nature or you may choose a couple of stimuli to rotate between following your breath listening to your environment, returning to your breath, whatever you choose, take a few moments to be with it. If you notice your attention drifting, you may take a moment to check in with the part of your consciousness that directs your attention to see what energy is there today. 
And then gently, without any judgment, use your will to return your attention back to your breath, back to a sound, a sensation, whatever it might be. Bring yourself back. This exercise of drifting away, noticing and gently returning this is the exercise of meditation. This is mindfulness in its action. Notice if you're having any persistent thoughts. Maybe this is thoughts coming at you as a string of several different thought forms or sentences. Or it could be one repetitive thought, a worry, a scenario replaying over and over. Don't resist these thoughts. Instead, notice the story these thoughts are telling you. Imagine what form are your thoughts taking? What more abstract symbol could represent this string of thoughts or these thoughts? What represents this thought that I'm having, you might say? It could look like a ball expanding or contracting. It could look like a sound wave increasing or decreasing as the thoughts roll around. Could note, it could be an image of an ocean with the waves as the thoughts and the ocean as your mental field. Or a blue sky with clouds passing in, going out, carrying emotions, carrying turbulence, Just be with the symbol. Know that your thoughts can be safely contained in this symbol, this nonverbal abstract representation. This is the way your thoughts are expressing themselves for you right now so that you can not get carried away. Now go back to whatever stimuli feels most comfortable for you right now. Could be the sounds in your environment or your breath. Could be sensations in your body or an image. Know that if any time you'd like to change the content of your thoughts into a form, you can. You can disengage from those thoughts by giving them an abstract symbol. For another few moments, stay focused on whatever stimuli you would like, your breathing, a sound, a sensation.
if you happen to be looking at something as your point of focus, please consider closing your eyes now. As we move our attention to our gut field, to the area of our belly. And as you move your attention there, move your breath there. Just really feel your belly expand as you breathe in. And relax and release as you exhale. And then allow your breathing to return to normal. With your attention in your gut, in your belly, notice what physical sensations are there. Does your belly feel tight or cramped? Do you feel a strain? Maybe everything feels open and loose. Maybe you notice something less physical and more energetic could be a vibration, a fluttering, or a vibration of some sort. And if you find it challenging to tune into sensations in your gut, just return your focus to breathing to your gut, breathing into your belly, expanding. If you notice your attention drifting in another direction, with compassion and love, encourage your will to choose to focus on your gut field. Continue to notice any physical or energetic sensations. If your gut was alerting you of a binary response of being not okay, you may offer it some words of affirmation. Let your gut know that it's doing its job supporting you in this way, bringing your attention to a change that you may be concerned about. So ask yourself, maybe maybe you didn't have any detection for of concern for change before we began. Maybe your gut was okay. And that's okay, just keep breathing. But if you notice a concern in your gut, just be with it. Sometimes I, I like to also place one hand over my belly when I notice a concern. So just notice how this concern expresses yourself itself in your gut field. Don't attempt to remedy anything. Just be with it. Now notice how this concern in your gut field may trigger your mental field. Are you thinking any thoughts related to this concern? Thought happens without us even knowing it. Is the concern causing any tightness in your, in your belly or your chest? Sometimes you'll notice a slight heart rate change. It is natural and instinctual to be concerned about change. Affirm once again that it's your gut's job to alarm when change is on the horizon. And again, your gut is performing well if it is triggered. Holding your hand over your belly, bring into your consciousness thoughts about what in your life will remain intact.
despite this change upon the horizon, consider what will remain preserved. You can take a few moments to be specific with yourself about what will remain the same. you notice your attention drift in another direction, gently, without judgments, just exercise your will and choose to remain focused on your gut field. If your gut field triggers your mental field into thinking a thought, one way to acknowledge this reaction is to reduce the thought down to one word and just like a cloud in your blue sky mind let it float away just reduce it to one word offer it consideration and let it float away then bring your attention back to your gut field Breathe into your belly. Offer reassurances as needed. And open yourself up to notice any more sensations in your gut field, in your belly, in your body. This noticing, this offering consideration is good practice for when we move into the heart space. Now, move your attention to your heart field, to your to the space where your heart chakra is on the upper part of your chest. And I like to imagine that I'm breathing right into this heart space, heart filled to my heart chakra. And just like the sensation of the, of the air moving in and out of the nostrils on my under, on my head, I imagine that I have a, a, a set of nostrils on my chest and that air comes in and it expands and I feel a warming in my chest as I release it. As you breathe into your heart, open yourself to notice any physical sensations. Sometimes the physical sensation is feeling closed off, feeling like you need to be protected, feeling constricted, and these are okay. It is okay to have these feelings. Just notice them, just be with it. Breathing into that feeling of constriction Breathing into any sadness. Just allowing your breath to stretch it a little bit. And maybe as you exhale, you can release some of it. Maybe not all. Rome wasn't built in a day, but release what you can. Be open to emotions of the heart. Maybe you're feeling open in the chest. You're feeling connected. You're feeling this sense of oneness with all. 
allow it be with these blissful, joyful emotions and feelings. As funny as it sounds, we sometimes block these higher states of joy and ecstasy because we fear that they won't last forever. And that we will hurt when they're gone, so we shouldn't feel them when they're here. What a funny notion. Dwell with whatever emotion expresses itself to you for however long they express themselves to you. Maybe you don't notice an emotion, and that's all right too. Just continue to focus your attention in your heart field. Continue to breathe in and out to your heart. You may notice thoughts that arise as a result of the emotion. Just reduce that thought to one word. Let it drift away and allow your emotion to exist apart from the thought. Your thoughts might disturb the integrity of your emotion. So just reduce them and send them on their way. If your attention begins to move away from your heart field, just bring it back with non-judgmental non awareness. Breathe into your heart space. Allow physical sensations, heart emotions, or even rhythmic energies to show up, to come up, to surface, for you to be present with. If an emotion surfaces, allow it to be the intensity it was when it arrives. Allow it to exist without words, without thoughts, without logic. On your own, until you hear the sound of the bell, just continue to notice what is in your heart. Okay.